Oh, is that a bit too high up? Let's move you down. Um, hi. This feels a little bit weird vlogging again because I've not made a vlog in I don't know how long. But hello, hi, how are you? I thought I would vlog today because I'm gonna go and get some tattoos and I'm getting four in one go. I mean, I say that as if it's a crazy thing to do. It's really not. I'm getting like the smallest tattoos in the world, but I'm really, really excited. So I thought I would take you with me and it's a really nice day today. It's like 20 degrees outside. But for some reason, I just feel like vlogging more when it's nice weather. However, before I go and get my tattoos, I need to get myself ready. I need to take Pinky for a quick little walk before I go because, because James isn't here today. So I just need to make sure that she gets out before I head into London. I don't think it will take too long though. My appointment's at two. It is currently, oh, I don't have my watch on. It is currently five minutes past 11. By the way, if you're wondering what I just used, Live and Proof Dry Shampoo, which is really, really good stuff. Very expensive, but really good. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Oil Free Gel Cream, which is really, really nice if you have oily skin. If you're looking for a dupe, it's quite similar to the Versed Dew Point Cream, which was another one of my favorite moisturizers. But the other day, I dropped this pot upside down on the floor and as I dropped it it flicked like half the product out all over like my chest of drawers all over me all over the carpet and it went all like underneath my drawers and then I had to try and clean it all up but there was like just chunks of this moisturizer like flicked all over my room I kind of have you guys to thank for finding this tattoo artist because I was gonna get a little letter P on the inside of my finger, which um, if you didn't know, my dog is called Pinky. And I thought it'd be a really cute idea to get Pinky on my pinky. However, I can't fit the whole word pinky on there because my little finger is quite small. So I thought I'll just get like a tiny little letter P. And I know that with finger tattoos, one, you have to kind of like press harder for them to stay and they fade quicker than normal and they can sort of like blur out more than normal tattoos. Like I know the facts of finger tattoos, but I still want to get it anyway. Basically, I posted on my Instagram stories if anybody knows of a tattoo artist that will tattoo your hands or fingers if you're not already heavily tattooed because a couple of places local to me won't tattoo your hands or your fingers at all unless you are heavily tattooed or already have hand and finger tattoos and I'm pretty sure that's because one, they don't want you to like regret it and then not be able to get a job because there are some certain places where you're still not allowed to have like visible tattoos. I think it's a lot less common in 2024, but apparently those places still exist. I know that on some like airlines and stuff and I guess like corporate jobs, that is one of the reasons they don't want you to then be like unemployed if you just get, get like a hand tattoo and that's like the first tattoo that you've got. And I guess if you're heavily tattooed, then you're less likely to have a job that would reject you for having a hand tattoo, if that makes sense. And then I think the second reason as well is because they're known to like fade easily and blur out and like the ink bleed and stuff like that they don't want people that aren't heavily tattooed to be getting hand and finger tattoos and then come back and complain that the tattoos like faded or gone weird and then I guess if people are looking at their finger tattoos and being like oh well that tattoo is like a bit shit because it's faded where did you get that done they don't want like the bad name for themselves does that make sense so I think that that is the reason but um I just want a little letter p that's it I didn't want anything crazy it's still probably not going to be visible like when my hands are closed anyway but I wanted to get four in one go to kind of make the most of the cost of it because most tattoo shops have got a minimum charge so I didn't want to have to be paying like a hundred pounds just for like one letter so I thought I'd get a few in one go because there's a few tattoos that I've been wanting to get for a while so I posted on my stories about does anybody know of a tattoo artist that will do fingers and then but a bunch of people recommended the London Social which I've actually seen their Instagram before and so I was literally just stalking their page and then one of the artists from the London Social messaged me on Instagram and said hey I've just seen your stories um I can do that for you she said I can send you over some examples and stuff. So then I went back to her and said, oh, I actually want to get four tattoos. Like, could you give me a quote? And then she got back to me and I booked it all in. So that's where I'm going today, um, to the London Social in Angel. And my tattoo artist is called Meg Alice Tattoo. Her tattoos look so perfect for what I'm after. They're very delicate, very dainty. She does a lot of like fine line kind of tattoos. And that is exactly what I'm after. So the last tattoo that I got was this one, which is Take Me to the Lakes in my dad's writing. But the one regret that I have about this, I mean, I don't regret it because I do still like the tattoo and it is in my dad's writing. However, when I was getting it done, obviously my dad had written it out in his handwriting with like a very fine pen. And then we wanted to make it a little bit bigger just so that it wasn't like too small to put on my skin. So she blew it up a bit bigger. However, obviously then when you expand an image, it's gonna make like the outline thicker, like the, the thickness of the lines thicker. And I stupidly didn't clarify. She put the stencil on and it looked fine to me and I stupidly didn't clarify or reiterate that I wanted it to be like as dainty and fine as possible but I think she used like a thicker 
needle and obviously when I was getting tattooed my arm was behind me like this I couldn't see like the thickness of it and then afterwards I kind of looked in the mirror and I mean I loved it I think it's a cool tattoo and like I still am happy with it on my body but I just look at this and wish that it was a bit daintier so the ones that i'm getting today are all going to be like fine lines so i'm getting the pee on my finger i'm going to get the phrase never grow up written somewhere on my arm i'm thinking like here kind of in line with this one either get it there or i might get it like here um i think we need to like have a little look at placements but i'm pretty sure i want it like on the inside of my arm so that when i like so, sorry about my pile of parcels by the way so that when i have my arm like this like you can't see it from the front obviously never grow up is a song by taylor swift it's on speak now which is my favorite album of hers um and also as well my dad has always said all throughout his adult Hood. Ever since I've known my dad, he said that his brain is still 23 and his brain sort of stopped developing at 23 and then his body just got older and so he feels like he never actually grew up, it's just like his body is getting older. And I kind of, I mean, I know I'm only 27 but I kind of feel the same way as my dad. And I've seen a few people like speak about this publicly online. I, I feel like we shouldn't have to force ourselves to grow up in a way that means we stop enjoying the things that we did when we were younger. And I mean, for example, being a fan of Taylor Swift, people do have opinions on that and it's the same with anything I guess like people that are super into Disney like Disney adults like they are they're just having a great time and I mean fair let them do that you know and there are things that I like to do in my life as a 27 year old woman that yes I still have responsibilities and do grown up things because I am a full grown woman but there are still things that I enjoy from my youth and my childhood that I don't want to let go of because why should I have to like we're only here once if there's something that you do or that you've loved since childhood and you're still doing that now as an adult I feel like there's should be no shame in that because we're all only here once if you enjoy something if you love something if you're passionate about something let it be like don't feel like you have to just get rid of everything that you love from when you were younger just because you're older like it doesn't have to be like that so i kind of liked the message behind never grow up anyway thought it was a nice quote wanted another like script fine line kind of tattoo somewhere on my body and i thought that that would be a pretty fitting one so then i'm also getting a little 13 on the inside of my elbow here hopefully if my eczema isn't playing up too much um because i think we can just avoid it. I've been really trying to like moisturize my eczema, you can't even see them on camera, I've been really trying to like moisturize my eczema patches this week and make sure that they like fade and like trying my best not to scratch because like I get it on the inside of my elbows. But you know what? It's actually looking really really good today. So I'm thinking it'll be fine. No explanation needed for that one. Hello, um, I'm just coming at you makeup free, me from the future. I was just filming my TikTok and then I realized that I don't actually think I explained the 13. The number 13 is obviously linked with Taylor Swift and that's her birthday, that's her lucky number, that's the number that's like anything Taylor Swift related. But also as well, another cute little fun thing is that me and James actually got engaged on the 13th of September, which by the way, he didn't plan for it to be the 13th. It just ended up being that date. Um, but I think a few people thought, oh, he planned it on the 13th. 13th for like a Taylor Swift related thing but it actually wasn't the case it was kind of random but yeah so it kind of has like a double meaning it was the date that we got engaged and also obviously Taylor Swift related so and then what else am I getting I'm getting Pinky's ears like the outline of her ears on the back of my arm which I'm so excited for and you know what I've been planning this, this tattoo for ages probably since we got Pinky I knew that I wanted to get her ears tattooed somewhere because she has very distinctive like one ear up one ear down and then James because he's now like got a half sleeve going on on his arm when he was in one of his tattoo sessions, he ended up getting Pinky's ears tattooed on his arm and I was like, bro, that was my tattoo that I was gonna get. You just stole my tattoo idea. Um, so I'm gonna get the same, but I think mine's gonna be maybe a bit more um, dainty than his is because his are all like quite thick tattoos. I'm quite nervous, but I'm really excited. I don't find tattoos particularly painful, but that is because I've only got small ones. Like currently I've just got this one on the back of my arm. I've got another little one, a little A here. I've got this one here and then I've got Still got my elephants on my ribs, um, so yeah, they've all been like small, fine line, no shading tattoos, which I think is why I didn't find them painful, and I actually quite enjoy it. It's quite an addictive feeling, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna head off to London in a minute, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. This is how bad I am at vlogging. I just sat here, propped up my vlog camera, and then filmed some TikToks, but forgot to actually vlog, vlog anything at all, so. <laughs> That will be on TikTok, this will be in the vlog. So naturally me being me, I was too scared to vlog in public, but I did get a couple shots of my feet and I felt so at ease when I walked in. They were playing two Taylor Swift songs back to back and here we are, all done. Hello, I'm back from London. I'm about to drive home, but I got my little pee. The others are like covered up with um, tape stuff, which is actually kind of coming off because I had to hold on on the tube and it's like pulled, pulled the tape. Oh, you can't even see because it's covered by my steering wheel, but I'll show you properly when I get home. Oh. I can't even tell you though, that was the best tattoo experience of my life. Highly recommend them. Um, 
I'm gonna go because there's a screaming child. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, welcome to the kitchen. Let me do a haul of the two things that I got in Tesco. <laughs> I got eggs because I really fancied making a carbonara, but I just realized when I got home that um, we have eggs already. I cannot tell you the number of times I've done this where I thought that we needed to buy something and we either of us have actually bought it like a few days earlier. I'm gonna make a carbonara and then I saw these were in the little like reduced section for 86p, some Belgian chocolate shoe buns. And they're a little bit squished, but I was like, you know what? I've really fancy one of them, so I got those as well. And then I have my LucasAid, which I bring to every tattoo or piercing appointment that I think I've ever been to. Somebody somewhere once told me that LucasAid is a good thing to drink if you're getting tattoos or piercings or like injections. And I don't know why that is, but I just always bring a LucasAid with me. And it's like my little um, tattoo piercing vaccination drink. And then the tattoo place, which is the London Social, gave me a t-shirt. Oh my God, why is that actually kind of cute? It says, welcome to the rodeo, fine line tattoos, London Social, February, 2024. That's a really cute t-shirt. I would so wear that. I love how it's got a cowboy on it. Um, I'm not sure why they gave me a t-shirt. I don't know if they give every like first customer a t-shirt. I'm not 100% sure, but that was really cool. So thanks guys. But I just want to say about the whole tattoo experience um, I didn't film any clips in there because as usual like I don't want to get my camera out because I'm already nervous I'm sure the person tattooing well the person tattooing probably isn't nervous because they do it every single day multiple times a day But I feel like I can't breathe when I'm getting tattooed because I don't want to breathe and then like mess up one of the lines So I'm sat there holding my breath I don't want to get my camera out and like ask if I can film because I don't want to make things awkward or make anyone feel uncomfortable However, if you would like to see Megan action I think she's got some clips or like she's got tons of pictures on her Instagram. But Oh my god. She was so lovely Lovely. It was the best tattoo experience that I've had yet. It was so unintimidating because the shop is like very bright, very modern. I walked in and they played two Taylor Swift songs back to back, followed by Sabrina Carpenter's new song. They also played like Perry Edwards' new song. They were playing Chapel Roan, Red Wine, Supernova. They played songs from School of Rock. Pretty much my whole playlist was what was playing when I walked in, which was great because that made me feel comfortable. And everyone was super friendly. All the tattoo artists are kind of like young people. There was a few like young women that were tattooing and just in general, like it was a very comfortable experience. And yes, you obviously pay London prices for tattoos like I'm sure people up north would be horrified by the prices of tattoos in London um obviously everybody's tattoos and like quotes and stuff are going to be different but I think because mine were so tiny like for example the little P which looks like this it's literally just a tiny little P on my finger there she didn't wrap this one because she said it, it'll probably just fall off anyway she said just be careful of it um and she told me to leave the tape stuff on for two hours and then to take it off this evening let them breathe for like 24 hours and then start moisturizing them with cocoa butter tomorrow evening so that's what I'm gonna do but obviously again I know that everyone has like different methods of healing tattoos i'm just gonna follow her advice i've just lost my train of thought i can't remember what i was gonna say oh because my tattoos are quite small so wait let me show you let me take off my card again that one's come off already great there's a delivery man just had a delivery and it's a box of the strawberry and banana prime. I'm actually gonna try this because I think, I'm not gonna lie, I think that sounds gross. And the ri the original prime um, hydration drinks are not my favorite. I find them a bit too sweet. James loves them, but I really like their energy drinks, but strawberry and banana just sounds grim. Like in a smoothie, yeah, but in a drink, like banana drink. Oh God. Okay, weird, it smells worse than it tastes. That is so bizarre, because it smells like really of artificial banana, but it tastes more like strawberry. Let me just try and like not breathe while I'm drinking it. You know what? I thought that was gonna be disgusting. I wouldn't choose it, but it's not that bad. But I'd rather have my Lucas Aid. Anyway, this is always the worst part I find, is actually taking off the tape, because I'm hairy, ow, ow, Ooh. It's just not very comfy. Oh God, I remember getting the tape off of this tattoo was a killer. Cause like that part of your arm is so much more sensitive than you actually think. Let me see, what does this look like? Oh, it feels really sweaty under there cause it's been so warm today. Oh, so cute. Okay, you can't really see it. There we go, there's my little pinky ears. They are so cute. And then this one, there we go. Got it to focus that will never grow up. I absolutely love them. They are exactly, like exactly what I wanted because I feel like my other tattoos, ow, ow, ow. Ugh. Okay. Oh, ow. Oh my God, ow, that one's really stuck on there. This one is so cute and dainty and just like fine. I love it. Probably not the best lighting. The little pee. Yeah, I've got to say, Meg was so friendly, just so like, 
chatty, made me feel so comfortable. I'd sent her pictures of Pinky obviously beforehand and then she'd like drawn up a little design on the iPad and then she'd done this one. She showed me it in like a few different fonts and then we decided on the font and the size and same with like the lettering here for like these ones. She had a few different example fonts but I just really liked the ones that she'd picked. Um, and then she printed them out in different sizes. We tried them in a couple different sizes, a few different locations. Honestly, they were totally fine. I mean, they're so small and thin anyway. Like all of my tattoos, like I said earlier, they don't have any shading. They don't have like super thick needles. So they've all been pretty much like painless, like a one out of 10 on the pain scale, I would say. But I do appreciate this because all my tattoos are like small and relatively quick. I think I was in there for about two hours. And all in all, it was 300. I did give her 350 because I wanted to give her a tip because I was really happy with the results. I was Googling it like, am I supposed to tip my tattoo artist? And generally what I got from it is that they don't expect it. But if you're like really happy with the service, then of course they're gonna appreciate a tip. But she did say originally that I think their shop minimum is 150. So if I'd have just got the letter P, it would have cost me 150 pounds for one letter, which is slightly crazy. So she said, obviously, because these two were so small, she was like, I'm not gonna charge you. What would it be in total? It would have been 600 pounds. But obviously that was just what I was quoted for these tattoos and everybody's experience could be different. I just wanna clarify that. But yeah, I had a great experience. I now wanna get more. Now that I've seen her style and now that I know that tattoos can be done like this sort of fine line and that there's a place in London that I'm really comfortable going to, I wanna get loads more tattoos and I wanna book in with some more, but I might leave it until probably after the wedding just in case like i don't know i'm so of the opinion that if you're tattooed on your wedding day like who cares <laughs> who cares that's fine by me and i feel like some people have opinions about tattoos on your wedding day and a few people have said it to me in the past were like oh not before the wedding or like oh what you're gonna look like on your wedding day i'm just gonna look like me because the tattoos are a part of me and i want to get tattoos and i'm gonna look like soph with tattoos in a wedding dress like i don't know something that i found since planning a wedding is there are so many beauty expectations and just expectations in general around weddings and like what you should and shouldn't have and so many people have opinions but i just don't really care about a lot of stuff which I was gonna say maybe I should, but I don't think I should. Like there's so many small like little bits and bobs that people are like, oh, are you not gonna do that? Oh, are you doing this? I just don't care. I just want everyone to have a good day. I just want me and James to get married. I want us to eat and drink and have a good time. Anyway, that was the biggest tangent ever. Those are my tattoos. Um, I'm gonna let them breathe for a while. I'm gonna cook my dinner. Where's my little dog? Oh, are you tired? Hey Pinks, I really wish that you could talk to me and understand what I'm saying because I got two tattoos for you today. She has no idea. Look, even when she's sleepy, she's got the one ear up on it down. I love you girl, sorry. I disturbed you, I'll leave you sleeping. I just came upstairs to brush my hair and just to see pinks, but in the mirror, I just think I love them. I think they look so cool. Like, and what I quite like is that my tattoos at the moment, they're not visible, like from the front. Like I turn my arm and it sort of like hides it. My little pinks. So I've been making carbonara so often recently that I'm gonna show you how I make it because it's the easiest, quickest thing in the world. So I used to cook it using a recipe that one of my friends sent me. That included garlic. However, James found this other recipe on TikTok, which is of this like old Italian guy. You literally need pasta. I'm gonna use spaghetti. You can use other type of pasta. That was really bad timing of me doing the kettle. Some diced pancetta. Parmesan, I just buy the one that's already like grated up. And then eggs. And then just salt, pepper, and olive oil. So, putting my pasta on boil. I put some salt in with my pasta just to add a bit of extra flavor. While the pasta's cooking, okay, technically you're supposed to use, I think it's two egg yolks per person, or is it one egg yolk per person? Recipes kind of vary, but I actually just do the whole egg and I don't really notice that much of a difference. If I'm just cooking it for myself, I will just do one egg and I find that that's fine, but I mean, obviously it depends. If I'm cooking it for me and James, then I'll probably do like three eggs. There was one time though, where I did separate out the egg yolks and then I had the egg whites left and I made chocolate mousse with the egg whites and oh my God, it was so good. I just put my egg in a mug like that and then I take my cheese and I don't even weigh it at this point. I just kind of do it until it's the consistency that I like because I've made this quite a few times. I kind of know how cheesy I like it, but it's really just down to personal preference. Okay, so usually I will just take my egg and then fill it up with cheese until there's a bit of a mountain of cheese and then mix it and until it comes like a medium thickness, medium thickness kind of paste. That actually looks pretty good to me. The great thing is, if it's not cheesy enough when you try it, you can just add more cheese. <laughs> I don't mean try this mixture, I mean once you've added it. And then in the meantime, you can, well that didn't work, you can cook your pancetta. 
actually, I don't even think I use any oil for this because like the fat of the pancetta kind of melts down anyway. But you just want to make sure that that's like cooked all the way through. And then by the time that's cooked, the pasta will probably be cooked. And then I'll be back. I'm so glad that Perry finally released this song because I've been singing it for weeks because of like her TikToks. Oh my God, you know that tape when I went out? It's literally ripped my skin off. Also, oh my God, today, I've been playing this on repeat. Also, my manager messaged me being like, YouTube shorts have come in with a job for this song that I have to get done by tomorrow. So I was like, yes. This is my favorite bit next. This is the kind of consistency. K9 teeth in the side of my neck. Chapel Rome. So good. I've got to move. Take your pasta. There's probably a better way that I could be doing this, to be fair. Alexa, off. Oh, God. You want to give that a good old mix in the oils. Oh, my God. This is not going to work. The oil of the pancetta. Okay, as if my camera battery just died. So I'm switching to my phone because I want to show you this freaking recipe while that's still hot you want to add in your mixture oh my god i just poured it all over the side shit i've made such a mess of this and then you want to give it a good old mix you can add in some pasta water if you want it a bit thinner in consistency and then you can add your pepper and i forgot to say for this part you want to make sure that you turn the pan off so that you're not scrambling the eggs you just want like the residual heat of the pasta and the um, pan and then once you've served it up Add on. Oh great, that's not done very well, has it? Oh my god, why is it coming out in clumps? Okay, that doesn't look like the most visually appealing thing in the world, but this is the final thing. Okay, I've just put my camera on charge while I eat my dinner. Mm -mm -mm. It's just so good. Oh, here comes the little pinks. Every single time I eat, she comes and sits next to me. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm eating by myself, James is at work, so I'm cooking my own dinner. Delish. What do you think? This is kind of a weird angle and I've changed yet again. This is maybe like the third, I think it's the fourth time that I've changed today um, because I ended up spending a portion of my evening jumping over my phone in the garden because a really last minute job came in for Sabrina's new song, which I was literally talking about in this vlog. However, they need it for tomorrow, which is kind of unusual because tomorrow's Saturday, but I think it was through an American agency. So, but it's just the trend where you do this. So this is Sabrina's one. We, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously I was not jumping over my phone to the beach because I had one evening <laughs> to film this. So and I've not actually filmed like the first part of it yet. I filmed the second part of it where I just was wearing like a cute kind of summer outfit because it has actually been a really nice day today. So I think I'm going to angle mine as in like summer's coming and this is a summer bop, which it absolutely is. But I counted, uh, I was filming it in CapCut and it's a little bit, it was a little bit tricky to film because obviously my phone had to be on the floor for me to jump over it. But these are all my different attempts. I I counted all of these and I jumped over my phone 34 times. My legs are actually quite achy. So I did that. I took this little munchkin out for another little. And then I was just sitting here watching The Ultimatum, which if you haven't watched The Ultimatum on Netflix, um, because I have been binge watching Love is Blind, I just love to have something to watch on TV in the evenings. And it's actually really bad. I've not played Fortnite in like a few weeks since, oh my God, look at that. Since I downloaded Travel Town, I've not been playing Fortnite, which is really quite bad. Like, I'm fully addicted to Travel Town. I play it, like, multiple times throughout the day. I've just been, like, watching Love is Blind. Weirdly, I watched season six, because that's the most recent one, and I thought that was a great season. It was very entertaining, but also, Jesus Christ, it makes you appreciate your own relationships even more, because everyone on there is just trying to kid themselves that they're in love with people. And, oh my God, what was that couple? It was Chelsea and, was it Jimmy? Or was that a different guy? They were so toxic. They clearly like were not a good match. And throughout the whole show, it was just frustrating with them constantly being like, I love you, I love you, I, I told you, I love you. And it's like, okay, but you're telling them that you love them, but you're not really showing that you love them. And then being like, we're definitely the strongest couple when they were not the strongest couple at all. But it was very entertaining. And I loved season six. And I don't know why I skipped season five, but I then went back and watched it. And I 
personally think season five was the worst season of love is blind it was just spoiler alert if you've not watched it yet skip ahead 30 seconds but i found it kind of boring how only three couples actually got engaged and then one of them were completely wrong for each other that whole situation was really weird and then th there was only two that made it to the altar and only one of them ended up getting married i just found the series a bit weird and it didn't seem that genuine um compared to the others but after love is blind i was like what am i gonna watch now then i started watching the ultimatum and it's crazy Easy, but it's been really entertaining. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and try this. I've never actually had one of these before. I just thought it looked really nice. It's basically like a giant profiterole, I think. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty much a giant profiterole. That's really good. I'm gonna sit here and watch the ultimatum and play some Travel Town. That's probably it for my evening, to be honest. That is about it for my day. Not a usual day for me, but um, it was a fun one. Got to go and get some cute little tattoos and I'm really happy with them. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. But thank you for watching, if you have taken the time to watch this. I appreciate it. Pinky, she went, oh, I'm gonna have to go get her something to eat, like a little treat or something, because I think she's a bit jealous that I have that shoe bun, but she obviously can't have any because it's chocolate. Oh, you are so cute, can I have a kiss? Um, but I hope you guys are good. Thank you so much for watching. And the next time I see you will probably be for my reaction of the Torture Poets Department, which comes out next Friday. So that's exciting. A week today. So I'll see you then. I think Pinky wants to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.